Wow, this is so cool. You can go all over. That is amazing. What's up, guys? I'm Mr. Alan C. Today we're checking out the Gravity Rover from Sharper Image. This is a vehicle that can climb walls. It can ride on the ceiling upside down. And look at that. It comes with a remote control right there. And here's the device itself. Looks ultra lightweight. I see some fan blades. How is this going to work? I can't wait to try it with you guys here first. So please do uh, get ready for some fun. All right, I removed the Gravity Rover from the box. Here's the actual vehicle itself. I see two propellers that create a uh, sort of suction. And there must be a Type-C port on here because it includes this USB to Type-C cable for charging it. So it is rechargeable. How nice is that? These tires, this kind of feels like soft and rubbery. First I thought it was Velcro, but it's got more of a rubbery feel. And then this controller, very unique. It looks futuristic. I like that. I think that lights up inside. So now I just got to figure out if this thing takes batteries. All right, to access the battery door, it says unscrew and pull down. So you're going to need a screwdriver so you can unscrew this screw. Okay, it looks like that entire black bottom piece pulls off, and inside it can hold four AA batteries. Now that we've placed batteries in there, we'll go ahead, put the cover back on, and screw it in place. Okay, this appears to be the power button because, or switch, because when you switch it, this starts to glow a faint orange color. So that must be the power. Here's general steering, and I'd appear, or I'd assume that this makes it go forward. Over here, I am charging now. I located the Type C port on it right there. So we'll let that charge a bit, and then we are going to drive on the wall and potentially the ceiling if this thing really works. Now that it charged a little while, I see an on-off switch down here. So let's see if I can turn that on. There we go. And we'll try turning this on. Okay, it's glowing. I don't know. How. Oh, so this is how it turns, right? Okay, so it kind of drives like a tank. All right, so we're going to want to get two hands on this. And this... Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay, this turns the fans on and off. So, that's pretty loud. It's like a real drone. So, I'm going to probably turn it on, put it on the wall, and then see if we can drive it. And try to film at the same time. It's going to be challenging. Um, let's go. I'm going to turn the fans on. Let's see if this will stick to the wall. All right, there it is. It's on the wall. And I'm going to drive it now. Oh! Look at that, guys. It's working. It can go all over, but I'm one hand driving it right now. How cool is this? I don't want to wake my wife up. It's kind of loud. Let me hit the fan button. Let's see if it goes on the ceiling. Oh my gosh, it's on the ceiling, guys. Look at this. It's on the ceiling. Let's drive it. Here we go. We're going to go cruising. You can drive it anywhere. And I'm doing all this with just one hand on the remote control. So just imagine when you get two hands on the remote... What you can do with this unit. Here it comes. Wow, this is so cool. That is amazing. Now I'll put it back on the ground. And I'm hitting this button. I don't know which one turns the fan on and off. I think it's this one. Yeah, you hold this button to turn the fan off. Okay. That is so cool. And that was on barely a charge, and it's still going. 
Like, it's good to go, guys. So, yeah, I'd say this is pretty neat. That was a quick unboxing of my first use, guys. I'm going to give it a real charge now. I mean, it looks like it wants to keep going, but I want to have extended play. So I'm going to do a full charge now. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.